as we approach the 25th of evening star, the date which marks the celebration of Saturnalia in Tamriel. Saturnalia is a festive and cheerful holiday set in the heart of winter, but it brings great warmth in the form of gift-giving and feasting. decorations and you can see that War Maidens here is absolutely embracing the Saturnalia festivities as is the Drunken Huntsman over here another fine white run establishment bedecked with glowing crystals and baubles and candles and even hanging lanterns and wreaths. It's bitter cold out here. Why don't we step inside for a moment? Enjoy the warmth. Yes, that's much, much better. The wind outside is blowing from the north, and it brings with it a dreadful chill. Janassa is enjoying a drink all by herself tonight in the corner, but at least she gets a festive wreath to enjoy it with. Let's head back outside and continue. Skyrim, and 
and it feels right to visit at this time of year. Look at all these goblets of mold wine and spiced mead, all laid out for the citizens to enjoy. getting into the spirit with wreaths at his door and here all manner of tasty treats boiled cream tarts taffy apple pies and of course a seasonal favorite sweet rolls it wouldn't be Saturalia without Arcadia's cauldron over here embracing the season as well. And of course, because Arcadia is an alchemist with access to all kinds of plants and herbs, her wreaths are especially impressive. I see snowberry, jasmine, grape, apple. here at the good old battered mare. Looks like Holda has pulled out the decorations as well with brilliant red paint, little twinkling lights, many wreaths, and hanging lanterns. and shake off this chill once again. It's extremely festive in here, isn't it? From the color scheme to the decor items and no doubt the food as well. Oh, listen to that cold winter wind whistling outside. It's nice to be inside all snug and warm when it's cold out. I love the crackling fire, so soothing. And indeed, as expected, we find Saturalia treats here. A couple of mince pies with little stars on top. Some crusty bread. And what looks to be maybe a delicious hot chocolate, perhaps. It's good enough to just sit down and eat it all up, but I suppose that would be rude probably belongs to a patron. Over in this corner, it looks like some lucky patron has an entire apple pie to themselves. Now that's what we call celebrating. Another sweet roll, naturally. This one with brightly colored sprinkles all over it. And up on the bar, some fine aged cheeses, crusty bread, and what appears to be a shiny tin of cookies. Saturalia cookies are of course a popular tradition. And here, Holda has dressed up the bar with some festive looking tablecloths. It is quite late at night, and 
that of course is a service provided by the court wizard Farangar. Farangar is an old friend of mine and as a matter of fact he mentioned that he came across a curious object not that long ago that he left in his study here in Dragon's Reach. Why don't we go take a look? Ah, uh, Dragon's Reach. What an incredible structure. Made even more impressive at this time of year with all the Saturalia colors, the brilliant crimson and stark white, all the way up into the rafters. It always smells so nice in here, like wood smoke and pine resin. And at this time of year, as well. I'm sure the kitchens have been very, very busy. As have the decorators and Farangar, of course. This evergreen tree has been adorned with more brightly colored baubles and candles. One might think that the candles would cause problems with igniting the tree, and as a matter of fact, one might expect the same from this very toasty hearth, which is burning quite close to the tree, but magic, I guess. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. And we can see over here that a feast has been laid out in anticipation of, oh, pardon me, sir, in anticipation of the festivities to come, the celebrating, the feasting, the drinking, the gift giving. what my 
might happen if we touch it, however. So delicate looking. Shall we try it? Let's see what happens. And just like that, we're somewhere else. Somewhere very beautiful, as a matter of fact. And very quiet. Gone is the whistling wind. hearing just a moment ago. Here, the snow falls silently. And the sky, the stars, all of Ethereus surrounds us on all sides. Secunda and Masser are both full and brilliant here tonight. And despite the lack of the northern wind, it is quite chilly in here. Very cold. sky. Somehow on Saturalia's eve, the stars are even more beautiful than usual. But let's get inside, out of the cold, this very cozy looking cabin here is quite inviting. I bet you it's toasty warm inside. Head on in. Oh, this looks extremely cozy indeed. Oh, would you look at that? It's all decorated for Saturalia. Who could have imagined that? We've got a Saturalia tree here adorned with all kinds of colorful baubles, and underneath gifts in all shapes and sizes, some quite enormous. One wonders what could be inside. Why don't we uh, close the door behind us here so we don't let out all the nice warmth <laughs> and let in all the cold. Much better, much cozier. Oh, and would you look at this? A beautiful, intricate, snowberry wreath. The red and the green juxtaposed are a tradition, of course, at this time of year. And I noticed earlier the stockings have been hung by the chimney with care. Another tradition that is observed for Saturalia, the hanging of stockings by the hearth. And so the tale goes at least if you leave your stockings there morning, they will be stuffed full of treats and treasures. It looks like uh, someone unfortunately knocked some, some plates off the shelf there, <laughs> but no matter. If they don't look broken, we'll clean them up after. This is an incredibly cozy little spot, and of Varengar to let us know about it. I think that this will be a lovely place to spend our Saturalia. Another beautiful snowberry wreath. the 
juxtaposition of those colors. And it does look like this is more than just a Saturalia retreat. I see an alchemy table as well. This is somewhere that somebody could live year-round. An adventure, perhaps, and an enchanting table. I suppose, though, if this is Marengar's vacation home, so to speak, it's not that surprising to find appointments for a mage. A very cozy looking bed in which we can spend the night. And at the head of the bed, yet another festive outside and here perched atop uh, the great evergreen a gilded star shines bright the evergreen of course is a symbol of growth and life and rebirth as well of Saturalia are closely intertwined with the New Life Festival, which is observed not long after. The evergreen is a common icon for both. Well, my friends, this is an extremely cozy place indeed, and I think it's the perfect place to spend Saturalia's Eve, a nice cozy spot by Roaring Hearth. We've got all manner of decorations, and it looks like some nice drinks and snacks as well. Let's take a seat. Yes, indeed, the perfect place to enjoy some festive beverages, tasty treats, and some holiday cheer. And perhaps in the morning, some lovely gifts from under the tree. But the greatest gift of all, my friends, is your company, and I appreciate you coming along on these wonders so very, very much for all the years that we have been wandering Skyrim together. These Saturalia wanders are beloved to me a tradition that I cherish, and it means so much to me that you enjoy them as well, and come back year after year to enjoy this season together. And so, once again, I wish you and yours the very best of the season whatever you may celebrate at this time of year, whether it be Saturalia, or Yule, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or Christmas, or anything else. I hope that the season brings you warmth and joy. And I look very forward to having you here again next time. Farewell for now, my friends, and happy holidays. Speaking of amazing friends, and things 
that I am deeply grateful for. I am incredibly grateful for the generous support of these amazing people that you see listed out right here. These are this channel's supporters on Patreon and YouTube memberships. They help me keep creating the kind of content that I love the most and that hopefully you enjoy watching the most as well. And they get some fun perks while they're at it, some little gifts of their own, like early access to my weekend video and at higher tiers they get to vote in a, a poll each month to select the topic of a video on this channel and at the Foos Road uh, tier a very special tier those supporters they get their names read out in a special spoken thank you in each and every one of my videos and it is my great great pleasure, my immense honor to read to you the names of our Fusroda patrons and YouTube members for this video. Starting with Odinson, K-Time, Rango Steel, Drummer Brit, Jake Lovney, and Ragnar Ragnarsson. Their illustrious names shall go down in legend. I cannot thank them enough. And that's why I keep trying every time in each video, but it's never enough. I will continue to thank them and all of the kind supporters that you see listed here. And if you, dear friend, dear viewer or listener, would like to join their illustrious ranks, well, you can find links down below in the video description to my Patreon and YouTube memberships, and I'm sure that you can find a tier there that is right for you, and enjoy the perks therein, and support what I do here as well. I appreciate it so very, very much. Once again, a big thank you to this channel's amazing supporters. <laughs> 